Okay, I'm trying not to be annoyed. I'm trying my best. I'm only human. What, you're saying I shouldn't be annoyed? What do you mean? I feel how I feel. We can't help our feelings. Same as you. Right? You can't help your feelings. You felt a certain way. And you acted a certain way. And then I'm acting a certain way now because of that. So it's just how it is, right? We feel how we feel. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying not to be pissed off. I don't know, I'm trying not to make a big deal out of it. It's, it's difficult sometimes for me, you know. <sighs> so we went out. I took you to my friend's birthday. No one's really met you before. And I know we're in that phase where we're together, but not quite together yet. Because it's new, but we've known each other for a while. So we're in this kind of weird, <laughs> weird, like, unlabeled thing. So you met my friends for the first time. And what, you think I didn't show you enough attention when we were out? Yeah, but we said that we weren't going to be like super touchy-feely, super close, because it's weird for other people, right? And also, yeah, if we're not, if we're not fully labeled yet, then... I don't know, okay, maybe I should have given you more attention when we were out. Honestly, I wanted you to meet my friends and chat with them and get on with them I didn't know there'd be so many other people at the party like I don't know I can't help it I was annoyed like you say that I wasn't showing you enough attention okay fine yeah you feel how you feel I think I, I should have I should have showed you more attention but then all those other people chatting to you I mean some of them were just being friendly but most of them were being more than friendly, getting a bit too close. I mean, what can I say? You're attractive. When I go somewhere with you, heads turn. Eyes are on you. <laughs> and it's weird. Like I love it, obviously, because when I'm with you and people notice I'm with you, it makes me feel good. You know, as kind of selfish and arrogant as that might sound. Then at the same time, it's frustrating because I want you. And I want you all to myself, again, selfishly. And I don't want anyone else to have you. <laughs> but maybe this is the issue. Because we're undefined. I don't feel that I can claim you. I don't feel that I can shout to the world that you're mine. You know what I mean? So maybe that's why tonight I may not have given you like the affectionate attention which you wanted whilst we were out. Maybe that's why I was a bit more, not distant, but treated you just like I treat a close friend. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. And yes, it did piss me off when you were very friendly with other people. Not overly friendly. I'm, don't get me wrong, you weren't throwing yourself at them, but I feel like you may have been a bit, just a bit flirty with them. Probably because you were pissed off with me. But it is painful. It is. <laughs> and yeah, fine, I don't like it. I don't like it when other guys get close to you or when other guys look you in the way that they want you pisses me off on one hand i i know i got i have to expect it because you know you're hot but it's just it's hard for me you know i just want you to myself and i can't help that i thought i was cool i thought i was chill and relaxed and laid back and but no i want you to myself and yeah i was pissed off I'm not even going to hide it. I was pissed off. And I was pissed off with you as well. Because I thought you were being too friendly to other people. And that did annoy me. Because I'm thinking, no, what are you being friendly for? Because you should only be that way with me. Oh, 
What am I possessive? <laughs> what you don't like? You don't like possessiveness? I'm not trying to be possessive. I'm not trying to control you. I don't want it to come off that way. But yeah, I'm not trying to control you. I'm just saying. I don't like it when you're like flirty with other people. <laughs> well, it's my fault. But because I didn't give you enough attention, you sought it elsewhere in front of me. <laughs> what do you mean? You're responsible for your own actions. Like if someone comes up to you and clearly wants to flirt with you, it's your choice whether to flirt back or not. What, so it's my fault? So you're using me as an excuse? I don't know. No, I was, you know, I'm still pissed off. I can't help it. Maybe because I want you to myself. Maybe it's that. Like, I don't know how defined we should be. I don't know if we know what the other wants. You know, I treated you whilst we were out how I would treat a close friend. I wasn't going to be super affectionate with you in front of my friends, especially when they don't know that we're properly together and when it's still the kind of early days between us because we haven't defined it and so I don't want to show my friends that I'm really touchy feeling everything if we don't know where we're going so actually I'm not going to apologize for not giving you the attention you needed or the attention you craved because if you wanted affectionate attention when we're out then I don't know Well, I shouldn't be pissed off. No, because your actions of, you know, when other guys came up to you and you're being really friendly with them were my fault. Well, so you're saying it's my fault. I don't know. It's, I don't. I, I, I disagree with you. Well, where are you going? Why are you getting up? No, no, no. You're not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I'm not telling you what to do, but no, you're not. No, just stay. Just speak to me. No, you're not going anywhere. Well, you want me to say sorry? Now, listen, we should only say sorry when we're actually sorry. I'm not sorry for my actions. No, where are you going? Why are you walking to the door? No, sit down. No, no, we're not done. We're not done. Sit down. You're not going anywhere. <sighs> Okay, wait, wait, let's just, let's just cool. Let's just, let's just, let's just calm down a bit. I think it's an attention thing, to be honest. Like, I'll be honest with you. I want all of your attention on me. And I don't know if you want all of my attention on you, but today I should have given you more attention. I should have. I think I was just... And I wouldn't call it scared, but like protecting myself, like cautious. Yeah, I was being cautious. Because we haven't been seeing each other for that long and we haven't defined what we are. I don't want to show us being really touchy-feely or lovey-dovey in front of my friends. Just in case, I don't know, you don't stay with me, you don't stick with me. So in this situation today, because it's my friends, not yours, it was your meeting them for the first time. Yeah, I just felt a bit vulnerable. So yeah, I just, I just wanted, I wanted your attention. I didn't want you giving attention to other guys chatting you up and f trying to flirt with you. And you wanted my attention. Actually, it's a little bit sweet. In fact, it's quite sweet. When we go out, I can't help wanting to show the world that you're mine. I know that sounds possessive. And actually, I don't care if it sounds possessive. That's what I want. I want you to be mine. And only mine. And if you're mine and everyone knows it, then I'll give you whatever attention you want. In fact, when we're out, you probably have to fight me off. When we're out, I'm going to be close to you. I'm going to have my arm around you. I'm going to give you a kiss every now and then. I'm going to look at you from across the room. 
I'll be checking you out. I'll be like watching if any other guy wants to chat you up. And if guys do try to chat you up and if they brazenly do it in front of me, I'm going to tell them to fuck off. Like I want you to be mine. I don't want anything like what happened today to happen again. I don't want you to feel that I'm not giving you enough attention. And I definitely don't want to have to watch whilst other guys try and chat you up while you flirt because... Maybe you don't feel like I give you enough attention or maybe you were just doing it to piss me off. But if you were doing it to piss me off, actually it's kind of fine because it shows your emotion. It shows your emotions are engaged. So yeah, it's interesting. This little episode of ours has shown me that I want you for myself. Isn't that funny? <laughs> How bad times or negative experiences can lead to realizations. And those realizations can motivate us to act. So actually, I'm going to act right now. I want you to be with me. Mm, I want you to be my person. I want you to be my partner. I want to tell the world that you're mine and I'm yours. And I want everyone to know that I want you all to myself. And if anyone was to take you away from me, then I will deal with them myself. I'll tell them to fuck right off. And if they don't, then, I don't know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but I I want you all to myself. So, here's my question. Will you be with me? Let's make it official. That we're together. (laughs) Come here. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm.